Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. They have declared war upon us for our lands that we rightfully took from them. And they are now, uh, they're not happy about it. We're going to have to fight them back. Let's do it. So, men on the boats. Man, those boats. Make sure we have men on all the boats. There we are. More men on boats. More men on boats. Uh, anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. I think we got all the men on the boats. Now if I want to move these men here, which boats aren't moving? You're not moving. That's fair. You're not moving. Cool. We'll get them all to come to Harlow Hill. Lord Man. Lord Master Manfred's wedding is over. It's now time to begin the long way home. After the music, the entertainment, and the warmth, the feel, real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. So what he did is, at the end of the wedding, he at the end of the wedding, he declared his war. He was just like, um, "We are now." He gave us our ultimatum. Oh wow! Well, I hope there will not be another wedding. Lord Pate Snow accepted King Quent of the North's peace offer. Yes, he lost, unsurprisingly. And he took the uh, title he held. <laughs> At age 60, Weg Do One Dar Weg died a natural death. What a name. That's the um, uh, father? Father, yes, of Volga. Okay. We will uh, make sure we have our dragons in charge. We have three dragons now, I believe, right? We have Gale, Vesera, and Rala. They will make their way along to Pebbleton. In fact, we're going to go for his army first in Orkmund. Grizzle Serpentails are currently under my control, and our close relative is uh, currently opposing us. We can rightfully execute or imprison her as a warning to our enemies. Um, Grizzle uh, is the. Wait a second, what? Is the daughter of Stefar and Rhonda. Yeah. No, I don't care. She's not... Wait. He, she's not t opposing us, I don't think. Um, I'm fairly certain she's not... Like, you're still... Yeah. She's not opposing us. Unless, of course, she means because, like, you know... Stefar is somehow related to... Or, like, she's somehow related to... Which one? Uh, to Melora, who is against us. No, I don't care. Really uh, not an issue here. Also, she's like seven. I'm, I'm really not very worried about it. Your bannerman, Lord Tyrion Mallory, is currently under threat from external sources. Shall we fulfill our kingly duty and aid them? Iron kingly duty, sorry. Uh, who's he being attacked by? The Gold Road claim on Byford War. Of course we'll join. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Of course we'll join. No reason not to. We're going to head back to Pebble Town. We're going to siege it down. We're going to win this war. I see. I think what we need to do first is we need to kill his army so that he's no longer leading an army. And once he's no longer leading an army, then when we go to Pebble Town, we'll capture him. Travel is playing rumors of fire and blood. They say that Dracarex has escaped from the dungeons of Bellicom Megar and has built a lair in the Volantine Coast. Okay. There we go. What have you done? Exactly. Uh, people being released from dungeons. Doesn't really matter. We'll try and kill this army again. Didn't quite stack wipe again. We'll head back. The ongoing civil war has caused both loyal veterans and various adventurers to make their way to Harlow Hill for muster. Oh yeah. 185 people. Definitely go attack this 150. They're going to attack these 55 people. My courtier, Hagen Maring, has expressed a desire to get married. He's asked for permission to find a suitable spouse. Of course, you can marry as you please. He has married Bree of Hearse. Oh, okay. That seems fine. We'll continue chasing in. A son was born to Princess Marjorie of Westeros and Grolo Mavery named Gerion. Alright, a bastard. Attractive bastard, but a bastard nonetheless. Okay, uh, we won a victory. Uh, we're going to head this group over to Pebbletown. We'll win another fight. 
Uh, we won it. Uh, someone who was born, born stillborn is now dead. Yep. Okay, we've captured Dagon. He is now my prisoner. Who is Dagon? He's just a commander. Well, that's fine. Whatever. I think we're going to chase back again. We're going to send these guys to Pebbleton, though. Thorin accepted Queen Layla of Westeros' peace offer. The peasants' revolt is over. Gold Road looks like they're about to win their war. For Byford. Alright. That's unfortunate. My prisoner Dagon is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeons, asking for more suitable accommodation. That will let him rot. That's fine. Lord Tion the Wicked has usurped the title Lordship of Byford from Tyrion Mallory. Okay, so the Pains have taken land from the Mallories. Yes, and that was in our lands. It's unfortunate. We have wiped out his army. You shouldn't have an army left unless it's over there. Where are you currently, mister? You're currently uh, leading troops in Silverreed. Where is Silverreed? I have no idea. Lord Hagen of King's House has accepted King Quent of the Norse Peace Offer. Also, we got no war score for any of those battles. Wow. Okay. King Quent of the North has usurped the Lordship of King's House from Hagen Magnar. Okay. Is that beyond the wall? No. No, it's not beyond the wall. Okay. Cool. Let's go land and take this uh, stuff over here. Peasant's revolt has been declared by somebody on the north. This should be done any second now. In fact, I think it should be next, uh, like, Dragon Tick. Lord Maribald the Magnanimous has usurped the High Lordship of North March from Lord Owen of Old Town, so that's the Tarleys have taken land from the High Towers. Okay. The wall is under assault and the Night's Watch is hard pressed to defend it. They have called upon all lords of the realm to take up arms and defend the realm against the dangers from beyond the wall. No. Don't really feel like it. Mainly because I'm in a war. Peasants revolts. Your Grace, I'm pleased to report I have captured some high value prisoners after a successful siege of uh, Darren Delving. I hereby turn them over to your judgment. Perfect. Will you accept our white peace? Um. You would accept a white peace. Okay. I think we're going to keep sieging though. For 71%. Would you accept our enforced demands? No. Okay, it's because they have more men. They think they're stronger. They don't realize we have a dragon. We have many dragons. Uh, yes, is there anybody here um, who we want as a salt wife? Not really. I mean, I say we're not. We are chased, so we wouldn't take any salt wives, I don't imagine. But that's fine. We'll see. They only have 70 defenders now. Very, very easy to take over. My leash, I've discovered a plot where Alanis Serpentail seeks to kill Iron King Roderick Hardhand. Why? Oh my, this is my, uh, si this is not my sister. Oh, she is the sister of the current heir. And there are designated heiress difference, so maybe she wants to kill us before it, it switches over. Makes sense. Okay, well, with her, I think we want to imprison her, I guess. Yeah. I mean, she was the leader of a plot against us. Children lack childhood focuses. Margaret and Ray. So Margaret is the uh, daughter of Hotho Ironsword. Okay. Um, what are we going for? We go for Faith. Possibly. Possibly. Or we can just go for something like Humility. Let's go for Humility. There we go. How about you? You're really into Intrigue. You're also a bastard. You're one of Lord Dale's bastards. I see. Oh, you're Valyrian Faith. No, 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 no. You will be getting a... Um, which one do you want? Uh, focusing on assimilating Westerosi, Valyrian, and Valyrian Faith. Yeah, I think that's what I want, right? No, because that's Seranus' stuff. So she actually needs to be educated. Immediately, we need her to be educated by someone else. Um, let's see, what we got Edric, our drowned man. No, it must be at least six. Okay, so we'll go. We'll wait till she's six, I guess. Wait a year. That doesn't make sense. Is we'll give her the heritage one, then we'll choose a new educator. Right, we had a minor crash but we have some people we can rightfully imprison we have 
uh, Isambaro Mavery and Margaret Serpentil. We're not going to imprison Margaret because she's drowned God and our family. Isambaro, however, he doesn't have a chance. He's very much imprisoned. Right, let's continue our war. Let's take Pebble Town Castle, which we have taken. 86%. Uh, oh, maybe going at speed 3 we might just go a little bit quicker as well. We'll wait and do all these trials and things after the war. Oh, Master Damon of Wilson is no longer our treasurer because he is dead. His son, Master Ethan, is in charge. And he is a twin. Okay. Well, we will need a new treasurer. Master of Coin. Ethan, you're fantastic at it. How about you be my Master of Coin? There we go. Um, who is still Manfred Ironfoot is the next uh, person in line because he's the oldest. Well, there we go. Joe Swan Servant Tales now actually on our list. Now, can we actually put the cam? I don't know if we can put the campaign to fund high enough to even make it a chance that he would get in. Uh, I forget what the formula is. It's oh, wait, there we go. Does it tell us there? Oh no, it's something like age times by the campaign fund or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's a formula that I do not know offhand. 100% war score. We will now enforce our demands. Manfred Ironfoot is in our prison. Let's decide what to do with him. Manfred Ironfoot, I believe we will be taking your title. Or at least removing you from power. Now this would put Eldis in charge. Eldis is married to Melora, who is our half-sister. This seems like a much better situation. Like this, see, actually, this seems good. This seems like it's worked out well. We will get rid of Manfred, and then we will let Eldest take over. Now, I guess we won't execute him because we want to have like, you know, we still want to have re good relations with uh, our son-in-law, not son-in-law, brother-in-law. She's our half sister, right? Brother-in-law. So yeah. We will just send them to the Night's Watch. They've been asking for help, so... There you go. I mean, we could have drowned them, but... It's not exactly the most tactful way of doing things. Now, y'all good followers of the uh, Drowned God here. You all appear to be good followers of the Drowned... Uh, you're not, but uh, we'll, we'll sort you out in a minute. You're all good followers of the Drowned God. Cool. Isambaro, hello. Um, I guess we are going to... Oh, that, that would give us tyranny. Just straight up drowning him. Let's call for a trial first. Cool, and then we'll work out what we're doing with everyone else. The war has been won. The rebels' army has been crushed by our brave loyalists. Lady Paramount Vialta Lindrily, one of our traitors. One of the traitors has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Wait a second. Yeah. I forgot she was against us. Send her to the dungeon. She's declared the war of Veilman Independence. The war has been won. The rebels' army has been crushed by a brave loyalist. Lady Sarah Lannister, one of the traitors, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. No, you are also going to the dungeon. Roderick Servantale, I find your judgment harsh, and as such, my banner and I no longer acknowledge your dominion over the Vale. This is a declaration of war. Regards, Vialta Linderly. The Iron Isles are in a state of war. We will send our our crows out, our ravens. Isn't Bar Mavery has demanded a travel for the court, which Master Stefar shall oversee to, in, to oversee to ensure justice is served. Oh dear. Is he the right one? Yes, he is the right one. He's our high judge or whatever, right? Uh, he is our high judge. Cool. He begins to present his defense, but the court did not seem impressed. He, he caught a very unconvincing and nervous figure. Master Stefar stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many at court were convinced by his arguments, but then again, many were unimpressed. A verdict has been reached. Isambaro of House Mavery is innocent. I don't want to let him go. Um, I also don't want the tyranny stain, so we're gonna we're gonna let him go for just now. My grace, my scheme in Harlow Hill has come to fru uh, come to fruit. I've discovered a plot where Cohort seeks to kill Eldred. Oh no! Well, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, right. Rest of you, we will. Oh, Sarah actually came back under. Our she came directly under our control. Okay, so Melora, 
you are going to be released. As are you, Dagon. As are you, Gwyn. As are you, Esgred. As are you, Jorel. Sarah. We will be uh, revoking your titles, if possible. I Lordship Castle Rock. Since he is a traitor, the vassals will not object. Must have revocation law changed. Okay, where's revocation law? It's somewhere in here. Title, wait. Is that to be realm authority? Oh, I have to go up to medium before I can do anything. And we're in a civil war. Um, Sarah, you know what? You're going to stay with us for a while. Your heir is a rain, actually. Hmm, interesting. We could just remove you. Uh, you'll stay in you'll stay in our prison until we're actually finished the war. Let's merge up. Let's get our boats over there. Let's head out. Okay. Also, that isn't who I expected to be in charge of Pebble Town. I expected Eldest to be in charge. His brother. Weird that Eldest is not in charge. Hmm. Okay. We'll see if we can negotiate a non-aggression pact. Nah, he's not interested. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Let's get you on the boat. We're going to head all the way to the Airy first. We're, we're not going to mess around. We're just going to go straight to the Airy. I believe three dragons will be enough with the number of men that we have to be able to do this. Uh, my prisoner, Lady Sarah of Castle Rock, is complaining about her dark cell and dungeons, asking for more suitable accommodation. Uh, we'll let her rot. Or just now. Um, where are our boats? I, I completely lost them. There they are. Cool. We're almost around there. Miles of Rathrock Peasants Revolt has led the Peasants Revolt for Rathrock on Storm Queen Rowan of the Stormlands. Okay. Cool. Head up here. Um, now I think we just want to march directly here. I don't know if this is a terrible idea or not. I think we want to do it though. Well, we'll wait in Hearts Home. They're coming for us. Aren't they? Oh, they have 8,000 men in Darkmoor. We might want to come back and get some more men. Yeah, maybe. Just pop back in. So I think we can hold 20,000 men here. Uh, they travel between rivers of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more in that rail. Rail? Magar now rides Vedarglian. Vedarglian into battle? Okay. Cool. We're going to move back. I think we need more men. We're going to head all the way back to Harlow Hill and we're going to hire them. There we are. We'll head back. <laughs> Daisy Lannister died of poor health. Uh, was she the one in our prison? No, we've got Sarah in our prison. Daisy uh, was the wife of Master Damon. Okay. Fair enough. We will continue our way along. The world is a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill you. Oh, I must be careful. I actually know who it is. It's Alanis. Because uh, we did not imprison her because we had a little crash. Um, okay, wait. What are we, what are we trying to do? Um, I don't really know why we're backing that plot. But I guess we were backing it before we became in charge. So, whatever. Uh, what I was actually wanting to look at is the Republic. Because I want to see who's next. Next is Stefar Gratrion, our nephew. Interesting. Uh, I do want to put some into the campaign fund, but I also want to hire mercenaries so we don't uh, lose our lands. Uh, Kristen Blackwood of Kristen of Blackwood Vale has usurped the lordship of Redfort from Lady Elise the Exile, so the Tullys have usurped some land from the Viprins. And she has taken... Elise the Exile has taken land from a different Viprin. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll head back round. We'll get our men, and then we'll get on our boats. Vayan of Overton has declared the War of Tyranny against King Quent the Wicked on King Quent the Wicked. At age 32, Chief Duncan of the Haunted Forest was slain by Commander Danwell of the Night's Watch in personal combat, and that is the end of Duncan's snowfall. Yes, uh, and his second wife is already his first wife was already dead. He was executed by Chief Duncan. How did we miss that? Anyway. 
There we go. That's what happened to those uh, that group of courtiers. Um, right, mercenaries. Let's get a few of these. We get some cell swords of varying quality. That should be enough. Get on the boats. We're heading back ground. I think 7,000 when we have dragons is more than enough. I think that's definitely a fair amount. We do have our dragons ruling. A son was born to Stefar the Red Reaver and Ronda Ironfruit named Robin. Okay, cool. Keep heading round. We can win this war. Miles accepted Storm Queen Rowan of the Stormlands Peace Offer, so that's the Peasants Revolt over. Right, keep heading round. My lord, there is a noble warrior at the gate. He says he is a veteran of many battles and desires to become a champion of your house. He praises your wisdom and honour and pledges to always defend you and your household if you accept him in your retinue. I mean, sure, Tristan, you can be uh, here, I guess. Lord Urin of Stone Tree has asserted the um, Lordship of Stone Tree from Lord Eric of Stone Tree. I guess that's Urin Farwind has taken over, and he has no heir currently. Okay. We'll keep heading towards our objective. Your Grace, I believe Dunavar Reign has been in your custody for too long. I hereby offer to pay the ransom to secure his release. I trust you will accept this uh, fair offer. Um, Dunavar Reign is Drown God and Ironborn currently? Oh, he was born into our custody because Sarah must have been pregnant when we captured her. You know what? No, he shall stay in my custody. We will uh, convert him. Is he... He's second in line, right? Yeah. You know what? I think we'll release you and take your son. Currently. Yes. That means we have Dunavar currently under our control. Yes. Perfect. That's what we're after. Hector is no longer our seneschal. Oh, because he's dead. Died of depression. Oh, no. We need a new Lord Steward. Ravos again, but he is cynical. He is cynical. How about Tristopher? Uh, nothing too wrong with Tristopher, actually. Tristopher of Corpse Lake. And you shall oversee Harlow Hill for us. If I can click on Harlow Hill. There we go. Perfect. Keep hand round. Keep hand round. Now, she shouldn't be leading armies, I don't think. Oh, she is leading troops in Nuki. Oh, okay. Oh, there was one. Nun Alvarez Piera died a natural death. Now, did he not have... He did have a dragon, so this is going to cause problems for someone. I just hope it's not us. Uh, we had in command happen to us, did we? Did they land on Harlow Hill or something? Oh, they landed in Lannisport. Are we in Lannisport? Yes, I guess we are. Okay. We will land our men in Heart's home. A son was born to a Lana Serpent Tail and Ragnar named Alton. Alton Pike. Uh, are you married? You are not married. Uh, oh, Ragnar is dead. Okay, well, I guess I can't force you to marry him, can I? My Lord Steward Christopher of Corpse Lake, it's best desire to get married. So ask for permission to find a suitable spouse. Marry as you please. Okay, we had what I hope is the last crash of the episode. Now, um... Everything should be pretty much the same, apart from that Christopher has not married uh, who he was going to marry. Because that didn't go through. I don't think it went through, anyway. Uh, we will double check. No, it did not. Okay, and we can go into hiding because someone's trying to kill us. Don't care. A son was born to Alanis and Ragnar named Gelmar. Okay, fine. He has expressed his desire to get married. Marry as you please. He once again married Vizera Targaryen. Okay. Yup. Well, I mean, you've made you made a choice that's definitely going to help you out if you want land and you're ambitious. We're going to head to the Airy, and hopefully this will work. A trade post being built by the Wilson family in Misslewood. Oh yeah, I always like to check the trade post map mode every now and then. Trade zones. Yup. No idea how this works. Okay. Cool. Let's keep going. Head to the airy. Um, we will start sieging it down. As after we we finish this siege, we're gonna have to head to Lannisport. Oh, which they haven't reached yet. Oh, okay. 
Raven has arrived in the city. We should rejoice as winter is coming to an end. Perfect. I didn't even notice it had started. Yep, this should be the airy almost down. Oh, she's now leaning troops, which is annoying because if she wasn't leaning troops, then we would have just captured the airy. We're taking so much attrition on it. The wall is under assault and the knight's watch is hard pressed to defend it. They've called upon all lords of the realm to take up arms. No, we're attacking the Vale currently. Uh, Your Grace, I am pleased to report I have captured some high value prisoners after a successful siege of the area. I hereby turn them over to you for your judgment. Oh, we captured the Queen. Oh, okay. Well, that, that'll probably do it, yeah. We will enforce our demands. The War of Veilman Independence is now over. Right. We'll wait just a couple of seconds. Velvel's armies have been crushed. Uh, of course she'll be kept imprisoned. We'll wait just a little bit. See if these people come back underneath us. We have an open council position for Lord Steward. Oh, did someone to die? Davin Seaworth died of poor health. Oh, well. Uh... No, I, I, okay. I guess the other person has left our court currently. Who was in this position? All right. Uh, guess that we'll have Joran in charge because he is the most balanced. I see we don't need balanced stuff anymore because we have. Um, I keep forgetting we have a high judge. Which case? Um, you'll do. Eden Har. Oh, you're also cynical. Gargan. Gargan. I guess you'll do. Yeah. And you can oversee our provinces. There we go. Right. Just waiting for these guys to jump back underneath us until next time. Invite to plot. You would like us to kill Maester Edmund. Uh, nah. Thank you. Everyone is back underneath us. The war has ended. You want to reappoint your old council members? Sure. I think they were already appointed though. Um, yeah. Oh, we need a high admiral because actually we lost one, but we'll do that in a minute. Now, Rialta of the Vale, I'm afraid that uh, you will no longer be holding the Vale. Yes, we will be taking that from you. We cannot take it because it's not allowed. Okay. Can we change it so we're allowed to take land from people? Revocation of titles allowed. Yes, please. I would like limited realm authority. I'm fairly certain that's what I'm after. Let's see uh, how the votes go. When, uh, winter is coming to an end in Lannisport. My liege, I've tried to make Master Harmon of Hevelton realize what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, but sinister forces are in his court. Uh, working hard to discredit my every move and distort my every word. I'm afraid that the end of the visit seems to have done more harm than good. Uh, okay. Oh, I just want to have a look at this war. Okay. Ali Lady Elise has forced people to join their factions. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're going to take... Are we going to end the episode here? Because it's going a little bit over. And we will work this out next time. Thank you for watching. See you then. Goodbye.